How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about a Tyrion, which ended up having a green day and a strong run in the market. We actually had this on the daily morning watch list. So many of the members were able to take advantage of the opportunity. I was talking about, hey, I want to see it hold down the $12 level going into the open, but it ended up using $14 as an area of support and then making its move. So you know what? Let's get into this video to make sure you guys are prepared going into tomorrow so I won't waste any more time. So let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you are a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance or what are some levels that we want to look forward to going into tomorrow. And then afterwards, we're going to go on Fintel and take a look at the short interest information. We want to know, are shorts still heavily vested in this play? I know you've seen it in the media talking about Ethereum being a short squeeze stock. We want to get a little bit more information. And then we're going to take a look at the order flow distribution. We want to see, are institutions loading up on shares? Did they buy up shares? for today. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the stock. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more key details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Ethereum. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $16.72, being up 28 0.62% on the low it tested $14.01 and then on the high testing $16.93 when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 94.388 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 81.57 million shares. So we ended up having above average volume on the day. And this is always great to see when it comes to a stock like a Tyrion, because we know it does have that short squeeze potential. So now when we take a look at our chart, which is a one year daily chart, we can see from the RSI down below, we're right around 69.15. So that is correct right in that overbought territory. Now, when we take a look at the moving averages on our chart, you can see we have strength at the 50 day as well as the 21 day EMA and we are below the 200 day but we could possibly end up seeing a test back on September the 13th you can see we saw highs right at $19 there so taking that into consideration it could be potentially looking to make that move especially what we see going down inside the after hours being in that $17 range and seeing a lot of momentum so as far as support on the day you can see we ended up having support right at $4 $14.01. So going into tomorrow, we want to see a continuation of it holding down this area at 14. Ethereum was also on the Discord watch list for today, and I was saying, hey, I want to see it hold up at least 12 bucks. So what did it do? It decided, hey, right at the open to hold up right at $14. So that was good to see, and it's part of the reason why we saw that strong pop, and we just got just underneath 17 being the high of the day at $16.93. So we saw some resistance, saw some selling pressure there, and so on. But like I said, you can see it's definitely seeing some strength in the after hours, and hopefully we want to see this carry over going into the open tomorrow. So just keep an eye on that $15 area of support. Preferably, that's where you want to see Ethereum actually hold up. But even if it does decide to pull back to 14, you just want to look for that rebound and see if you can get a play in there as well. So we're going to take a look at the short interest information for Ethereum. So as we scroll down on the page, the short shares availability is at zero, updated nine minutes ago. And for the short borrow fee rate, it is not available. When we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, we can see for the close of the 20 it was at 32.41 and then the close for the 21st which was yesterday being at 33.97 so it'll be very interesting to see what it will be later on in the evening but one thing we do know for a fact Ethereum does have short squeeze potential and part of the reasons is is we tend to look for a short volume ratio above 21 percent and of course Ethereum satisfies this criteria so this is part of the reasons why you see strong moves in price action 
and hopefully we can look forward to seeing a continuation of this. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for a Tyrion. So we can see here on the inflow it's at 333 and then on the outflow it was at 321. When we take a look at the breakdown we can see on the large we had 4.75 and then on the medium we had 244 and then on the small you see 84.2. When we take a look at the outflow side on the large, it was 5.39, and then on the medium, it was 236, and then on the small, it was at 79.85. So you can see as far as retail interest is concerned from the small scale orders, we ended up having a surplus. Also, when we take a look at what was going down on the medium, that is another surplus. But when we take a look at the large scale orders, you can see the outflow side ended up winning out with a surplus. But when we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you could see for today of course large scale orders ended up winning out but we did have an inflow day so there was a lot of interest on the retail side and all of that buying did contribute to the fact that the stock was able to move very well so another thing to take into consideration we did see institutions have been loading up on shares but we also do see a lot of selling on that side as well so as far as going into pre-market tomorrow i know it's seeing a lot of strength in the after hours you're going to want to see a continuation of this. This is very essential. And on top of that, you want to make sure as far as the volume is concerned, it is continuing. It is looking strong. If you're not getting that volume, then this stock could potentially pull back. And that's what I want you guys to understand. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for Ethereum, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how well it performs going into tomorrow. And part of the reasons being is we are seeing some very strong demand for this stock. When I was talking about watching this inside of the Discord, I was talking about a support level around 12 bucks. Today it showed us support at $14. Due to the fact we ended up having this run up going into tomorrow, you're gonna wanna see it hold up support at 15. If it can't hold up support at around 15, then of course you're gonna wanna see it hold up support at 14. If it can hold down support at 14 and there's a lot of buying coming in, we will have a repeat of what we ended up seeing for today. If you see it gap up going into tomorrow, of course, I myself personally, and I'm going to tell people inside of the Discord, wait till market opens. See how much it pulls back and then make sure you wait for the right setup as well as confirmation before entering the play by using your indicators, your technical setups, and so on. When we went on Fintel, one thing that we could clearly see, there is some short squeeze potential in this play, and I know you've heard about that all over the media. And the last time I did an Ethereum video, I also emphasized this as well. So if you're keeping your eye on this stock, then you should be able to be enjoying some nice gains at the moment. But one thing to be aware of, and I'm going to be very clear about this, this is a short squeeze type of play. I do not recommend holding a position overnight. I know many of you do do this. Again, you're going to be doing this at your own risk and you got to be able to assume all of that and take responsibility for that. But I feel as far as for this play, it's more so for momentum and as well as for day trades. And if you are going to be getting into this play and you're not really into day trading and so on, then you want to make sure that you are attentive. This is not the type of play where you buy the stock, you put your phone down or you turn off your computer screen and walk away. You have to keep an eye on this. It has a lot of ups and downs. I know you guys have seen it when we went over the technicals and I want to make sure I really emphasize this. I don't want to say, well, you know what? This stock is just going to be going to the moon because if I start saying that, you're going to buy it at whatever current price where you see it at and then say, well, you know what? This is supposed to go to the moon. It doesn't work that way. If you are going to be getting into this play, take advantage of those key levels, take advantage of support and then enter upon confirmation. And another point that I want to bring up is to look out for that $19 level. That is a clear level of resistance for for a Tyrion. It's tried to challenge this area in the past. It did get there, but it didn't show a lot of strength. So if we end up seeing some strength and there's volume above that $19 level, then we can look forward to seeing a very strong move. But again, this is only going to be fueled by buying pressure. Always remember that. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.